Okay. Well, that's not the way you drink. That would be inhaling it, I believe, not drinking it. So, you cannot drink water with your mouth closed. This means that you're going to have, this is a cooperation with the Holy Spirit. You're going to need to open your mouth, and just like you talk in English or Spanish or whatever language, uh, you're gonna, God is going to use your vocal cords, your tongue, everything, just like you speak, your voice. You know, a lot of times, the Holy Spirit, the power of the Holy Spirit will come upon someone, and you can see they're just, the power of the Holy Spirit's on them, and, and all it takes is just open your mouth, and they'll open their mouth, and the river will come out. Or, or just lift your voice, and they'll lift their voice, and so don't be afraid. All you have to do is come worshiping. Now, another thing is, how many of you can speak uh, two languages at the same time? Nobody, not even through your nose. Uh, nobody can speak two languages at the same time. Okay? So the, the thing is, uh, when you come to receive, God is going to give you a supernatural language. So you may begin worshiping and praising, but then you're going to want to say something that you don't understand what you're saying. And that is His gift, and you're going to have to yield. So how many is thirsty? How many is hungry? You don't have to be scared. God loves you. You know what? He loves us. Oh, how He loves us. And perfect love casts out fear. Perfect love casts out fear. He loves you. He's not going to give you anything wrong. He's only going to fill you with His power. So that when you do, so that you can be a witness in your school, and when you do have times that you're down because things are going wrong, you can go to a place where He will lift you up. He will lift you up. Amen? How many want to receive the baptism of the Holy Ghost? I'm telling you, He is here. And I know there are many people praying right now. So just like Macho, came, and even Ben, they came up really fast. That's how you need to be about receiving the baptism. You can't be talking to people. You can't be, uh, you can't be worried about, oh, I brought a friend here for the first time, and look what she's talking about. You, you don't care. You, you are desperate for God. You, you've got to be focused and say, Lord, I will, I will receive tonight. Many of you I know have already received. I, I remember praying with you and you received. And someone told me this week, they said, oh yeah, I received, but it's been gone. Should have never gone. You pray every day in the Holy Ghost. Every day. Because when you pray out the, in the Holy Spirit, you're praying out the plan of God, the will of God according to Romans 8, 26. How many would you like to know the will of God for your life? What God really wants you to be? Who He'd, he'd like you to marry? I mean, I know you're a little young for that, but anyway, we need to talk about the future. But uh, there's something about praying in the Holy Spirit that prays out the plan of God for your life. So you need to spend time every day. Amen? So, I'm going to ask only for those that are really desperate to be filled with the Holy Spirit, I want you to come up here and just line up across here. Just line up across. Hallelujah. 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 Only if you're desperate. You know, I, I don't care. Even if there was just two people, it didn't matter to me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know, the Bible says that they were all filled. So be sure to give yourself some room because you don't want anybody bumping you. And, and, and